Hi Nancy, this is Colton with North Island Nissan. I'm very sorry for the delay on this video. I got caught up with, you know, because we're looking at a, a truck just behind here. Um, but I'm gonna do a full walk around video on this one and show you the, the condition of it, some of the features that it comes with inside and outside. Uh, it's really re in really, really nice condition. It's only got 33,000 kilometers on it, uh, which is fantastic being in 2019. They're only doing about 10,000 a year. So really pretty much the most healthy amount of kilometers you could be doing. It's getting driven regularly, um, but not too much. And it's still a nice little mileage on it. There is a button on the door handle you can use to lock and unlock the vehicle. And it's push button start, of course, so you never actually need to take keys out of your pocket. They do have the remote start on the key fob as well. It is a power driver and passenger seat with a full leather interior, heated seats, heated steering wheels. I will come around uh, and go over a few more features when I come around to the driver's side. For the back seats, they do use a theater style seating system, so they're actually raised up above the front seats a little bit. And they're also fully adjustable, so you can slide them forward and backwards, pretty much all the way up to the front seat if you need more cargo space. And then the backrest can also, I'll do a quick wide angle lens here, um, the backrest can also recline here too. And not just into one or two positions, it can actually, you can move it all the way back there um, and kind of stop it anywhere in between. So it's really nice for that. Uh, the center console, it's a 40-20-40 split for the back seats here, so this center console does fold down also creates a channel to the back as well it's great say if you're doing like a ski trip or something like that you can actually get four people in it stack all the skis probably with blankets so they don't scratch um, but through the center there and you can still fit four people in it which is really cool go back to the regular camera view here It is the SL badging on the back. This does have a 360 camera, which I'll show you in a moment, but it does have the backup cameras back here as well. And there's a little bumper protector there too, which is nice. It does have the power lift gate on it, and it will have the motion uh, activated lift gate where you can uh, wave your foot just straight underneath, uh, and then it will open up the back. For the back area here, it sounds like you might have been familiar with the vehicle already, but this is the divide and hide cargo system. So they got the two panels here that you'll get storage space underneath. This front one, create a divide right up in the middle. Ooh, one moment, this panel's not in there. Oh, they got floor mats underneath. Sorry, there's floor mats underneath there. Um, but that one can create a divide uh, so you can stack some groceries right up front here, say like a carton of milk or something like that and get some stuff behind it as well. The back one, you can create a shelf up top. And say if you're doing like a Costco trip or something like that, you can get kind of the majority of your groceries underneath there and then stack, say, your toilet paper or something like that on top. This privacy cover just uh, extends out if you want to use it. And then if you don't want to use it, it's kind of like a toilet paper roll. This, this end here just kind of pulls in like that. So it's nice and easy to pull out if you don't need it in there. I've got a dog that rides in the back of my cash guy and I had to pull my privacy cover out right away. Back area here is in, also in good shape. There was one little couple little scuffs just on the bumper here um, nothing too bad though just a couple little ones there I'll do one more walk around at the end of the video just to make sure uh, I didn't miss anything while I was filming here and then coming into the driver's side we do have our power locks windows and mirrors and then there are two seat settings as well for the memory seats and again we do have our power driver seat of course as well there is tilt and telescopic on the steering wheel, so you can move it up and down and in and out. And then I'll start it up here real quick. Put it on the brake, hit the button. Um, now on the key fob, I mentioned the remote start earlier. With Nissan, it is an intelligent remote start. So because this is a digital climate control here, it is able to automatically adjust the temperature depending what the temperature is outside. So if everything is frosted over, it's gonna turn your front and rear windshield defrosters on, your heated mirrors. If it's cold enough, it'll do your heated steering wheel for heated steering wheel for you too. Um, and then the opposite in the summertime, if it's screaming hot out, it's gonna turn the air conditioning on for you and cool everything down, which is really nice. Um, we do have some controls for the radio on the left side of the steering wheel, and then these four arrow buttons and the okay button are for the screen right up front. You can get fuel economy, tire pressure, the screen for the four by four and the safety features up there. So a number, number of different ones that you can have. You can also turn all of these safety features on and off through the setting screen in that little screen in front of the steering wheel. To the left of the steering wheel, uh, we do have our uh, heated steering wheel button, traction control, pro pilot assist. Uh, this is for the rear door. It'll just open up the rear door. That's your gas tank release. And then there is an all wheel drive lock, sport mode, and an eco mode. Let me know if you have any questions about that. The steering assist for the cruise control, which Nissan calls pro pilot assist, can be turned off permanently. So you do not need to use it. Your cruise control can just work like normal. Um, with the intelligent cruise control, it will follow the flow of traffic. I believe you can also shut that off as well. So you don't need to use any of those 
uh, assisted driving features, but they are actually pretty neat for the highway we have here, going from say Campbell River to Nanaimo. It works like hot damn for it. It works really, really well. Um, so it's cool for that, uh, but some people don't like it as well and they just want to drive the vehicle themselves, which is totally fair. Um, we do have a couple Bluetooth controls down there. And then last but not least, going to the center console here, we do have the map and navigation. They do also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for 2019, uh, which works very well for navigation. Uh, if you pop the vehicle into reverse, it will pull up the 360 camera. You have the backup camera on the left side of the screen and a bird's eye view on the right side of the screen where you can kind of see all the parking lines. You can see if you're over to one side further than the other, uh, anything like that. Uh, just in case you haven't seen that before, I will back us up real quick into the side parking spot there. And so when you're further away, you can kind of use that left side camera and then as you get close, you can see exactly where the parking lines are on the right side camera there. So it makes parking very, very easy. Um, if you are in drive going less than seven kilometers an hour, you can hit the camera button up here and it is gonna show you the front of the vehicle uh, there instead of the backup camera. So you can actually use it going into a parking spot going forwards as well. Uh, other than that, brings us back to the main menu. Uh, there's a day and night time setting, so you can dim it down or shut the screen off completely with that. It, of course, does have Bluetooth calling and audio. Uh, again, dual climate control, so you can set a different temperature for each side of the vehicle. And it does have a digital display on there. They do use an electric parking brake for them now. You do have a USB port, uh, auxiliary port, and a 12-volt plug-in that you can also get more USB ports in if needed. Uh, gear shifters, straight, pretty straightforward. Park reverse neutral drive, just straight back for drive. And then when you push it to the left, it does activate a manual mode that you can shift between seven different gear ratios uh, that it creates because it is a CVT transmission, which I'd be happy to tell you more about as well. Um, but there is, you just push it forward to shift up gear, pull back, shift down a gear. And that is that. Heated seats are just in front of the center console here. I will open that up. There is a fast charging port um, in there as well, which you may or may not be able to see. I'll try and get the sun out of the way. There it is. Um, and there is also another uh, 12 volt plug in in there too. And so with that fast charging port, it will, will of course just charge your phone. If you're using the USB port up front there, that one is used to connect it to the dash for the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto. Um, and there is a panoramic moonroof here goes all the way to the back seat so it's really really nice for letting light in uh sorry for the longer video there is a ton of features in here it sounds like you know your way around it pretty well um it does get the bose audio i'm probably missing something um like there's the garage door openers on the rear view mirror and it's not a dim rear view mirror i'm sure there's so much more than that there's a plethora of safety features there's so many of them if you have questions about anything or if you're curious about any of the features being in this vehicle just let me know i'll be able to answer it for you but i do hope you enjoy this video and have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching goodbye